Mr. Popsid here, unique case alert. Alopecia totalis, you've probably heard of it. Alopecia areata is when you're getting these little circular patches where the immune system is causing inflammation to the hair follicles, causing them to fall out for sometimes six months, up to a year or two. This is alopecia totalis, which most of the hairs on the body are gone. And as you can imagine, especially for a teenage girl, this is more than devastating. This keeps people home from school for months. It commonly has them go to homeschooling because of the ridicule and then, you know, how kids can be. So when we have an opportunity to help somebody and put a smile back on their face, it's always fun. This is a video that is five months in the making. Uh, I'm going to go over we, what we, how we treat it. Usually you do injections, but when you have the entire scalp, it's too many injections, it's too painful. So we you know, come up with something else. And I don't even know the name of the doctor who thought of this, but uh, the idea behind it is using an acetone, or in this case, squaric acid, to induce a low-grade dermatitis or inflammation on the skin. And the idea is to trick the immune system to deal with the contact dermatitis. And for some reason, it just forgets about the hairs and, and causing those to fall out. So when that happens, it's dealing with the contact dermatitis that we induce every 10 to 14 days. And then the hairs just start growing and they start regrowing. We keep up with it. It is a long, slow, tedious thing. It's not a quick fix, but this alopecia totalis can go on for years for some people, many years. And hers has been six months to a year, but and now in five months, we've almost flipped it already. So she has a lot of hair growth. She's smiling again, and she's on her way to getting long hair again. She still has some areas to fill in, and we'll keep doing it for probably another six months to a year. But you can see how quick at the pictures that are coming and in the video at the end, uh, uh, from the very beginning to the five months. So interesting case. This is a, a unique way to treat it. There are uh, some other ways out there too, but this one is painless. It's just a solution we put on. We have it made for us by a compounding pharmacy. Uh, if you're dealing with this condition, make sure to reach out to your local dermatologist. This is an option. I have had dozens and dozens of patients on it and all but one or two have a great result like this. So it's not 100%, but it's a pretty good number. So thanks for popping by. Hope you enjoy the video. It's something different I like to throw at you every now and then. Hey guys, Greg Lynch, Derm PA here. This is our patient that we've been following now for five months. And you can see here as we come around, just a couple spots are still a little thin, but full hair growth. We're even getting some on the uh, eyebrows that are coming in. She still has a couple of small spots there, but alopecia totalis, as you saw from the pictures in the beginning, uh, complete hair loss, just a couple hairs were left. And you can see here with squaric acid that we've been doing, which is just a topical solution we put on. There's no injections, nothing like that. And this is how far she's come in five months. So this is great. This is, um, she's even a little ahead of, of what I expect usually. Um, a lot of times we'll have to see the very top too. A lot of times it can take, you know, six to 12 months to even get to this point. So she's doing great. And this is a pain-free, you know, the, the idea behind squaric acid topically is to induce a mild um, contact dermatitis, which tricks the immune system from causing the inflammation at the hair follicle in dealing with the uh, contact dermatitis. And then it leaves the hairs alone and they just start regrowing. That's the idea behind it. But I just wanted to do a quick update. And we just showed in the, in the video her five months 
months and this is where we're at now we continue going um, and she'll just keep filling in over the next six months until hopefully within nine to twelve months she's fully grow regrown so thanks to her for sharing and thanks for popping by hey guys mr pops it here if you like what you just saw make sure to pop all the buttons see you soon